But you did enjoy Invincible, though. Oh, that yes. was a really good segue. But that was an accident. That as well. yeah. That was oh an accident. My God. That was it's unbelievable. Fair. Yeah, more of that, please, TV land. More of that, please. That was amazing. Because this is the thing where, this is the same with Marvel, any of the stuff, like for me, I want to like superhero stuff. I want to like Marvel. I want to like DC. But, and this is an example, we've just watched um, the Spider-Man movies, the newer ones, uh, last Mm. weekend, because my kids wanted to watch them, so I downloaded and watched them. But what what always gets to me is like, Spider-Man's getting his literal shit kicked out of him by some fucking big ass he's actually getting mullered and he's got a bloody nose it's like i know you're spider-man but how much power is being delivered to your body for you to just get a little bit injured like you'd get mushed absolutely yeah. smushed to a nothing and yeah That's why like, oh yeah this actually yeah? happened yeah yeah yeah, this, yeah you you give it deliver that much power they're just going to get smushed and blood everywhere it's like yeah that's what would happen thank you <laughs> watching like the civilians getting absolutely destroyed it's like yeah, this is what would happen in, in a superhero it's, fight it's, like, everything would just get map just battered oh it's, i it's like a, it and they just it's don't, don't sugarcoat any no, of it. no, no, no. It's, 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 it's it's horrific yeah yeah this is like ma- weapons of mass destruction being unleashed in a public area. Well, yeah, it's not going to be pretty. No. <laughs> it's going to be horrible. Not, not all the nice old ladies are going to get saved. In fact, he's just dragging his old lady. It's just like, yeah. <laughs> you've just been killed. By <laughs> it's like, oh, God. God. <laughs> what did you think was going to happen? <laughs> yeah. He just it, flew her it, through a wall. Oh, when you described it, it definitely is 90s Batman cartoon mixed with the boys yeah, boys. yeah. It's mushed yeah. together exactly how i would describe it it's just like it, and it is exactly what i want to see it's exactly what i want to see it's that realism mixed in with the fantasy that makes me go well, yeah okay fair enough <laughs> that's good that's good i like it but I it's think... more, it's also the it's just the characters are so are just so like they just feel real do you know what i mean like as opposed yeah. to like with with all the other sort of you know classic superhero characters they just don't quite feel as real as these ones do do you know and i don't does that make sense like they just no definitely which i suppose is the point of those yeah. classic ones because you want to escape and that's all that's all good but these ones you just they just feel like oh shit yeah that's how i would react if i found out that i was a half alien from this planet <laughs> yeah. oh, fuck. and i would mess up quite a bit and i would like <laughs> yeah people. the aliens are raiding i don't i can't deal with this shit <laughs> yeah, yeah i don't want to i just you know, it's just too hard <laughs> he calls himself invincible and gets beaten to a pop every episode <laughs> <laughs> but he's not dead He's not, uh, that's so optimistic. Far, it's true. <laughs> that's, I love that. Every time it's like you do, you call yourself invisible. Oh, that's optimistic, isn't it? Okay. <laughs> More like very invincible. <laughs> oh, I yeah, I some... totally handed your ass to you. So I've I've read some of the comics from Invincible because of all this, and it's kind of like if he, they do even half the stuff that's in the comics, Jesus Christ, he can't call himself invincible. Well, yeah, I've seen I've seen I'm a little. They're going to do it. More, probably more than half the stuff that's in the comics. Oh, I've, I've, I've purposely stayed away because I don't want to know. I'm gonna wait until it comes out. To well, watch I've, seen, it. I've seen I've um, seen bits and pieces of like characters that will probably be coming in, and it's like, oh, okay, yeah, that's gonna be that's gonna be even more fucked up than Omni Man. <laughs> Jesus Christ! Uh, not to spoil anything for Rob because this isn't exactly a spoiler, but you know, I stopped keeping a tally for how many times people put like the entire fist or something sharp through Invincible all the way through. Well, if he doesn't die, he's invincible. Well, he did, well obviously he hasn't died because it's still there. We go then. I think so he's invincible series, so far. He die <laughs> he's not like impervious. He's not called impervious. <laughs> Maybe you should write he's that. He's invincible. <laughs> <laughs> he can get hurt. He just doesn't die. Yeah. <laughs> that's literally, but that's yeah. literally what invincible means, <laughs> isn't it? I suppose they've really gone. They've gone for like the the new yeah, comic, comic series, series by Rob. Rob. Impervious. Like, <laughs> impervious man. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, impervious but... man walks through walls and can get shot by bullets and doesn't, doesn't get hurt at all. Notice. That's Superman, isn't it? <laughs> yeah, basically. Which is what yeah. I've always hated about Superman. He's the shittest hero because it's like, well, yeah, anyone can do that. If you're literally oh, no, more powerful, yeah, if you're Superman, a god, yeah. like a literal, <laughs> the most powerful creature on the, in the universe, well, yeah, fuck it, it's not hard, is it? Unless you just get a couple of little green stones and then he's fucked. <laughs> yeah, which are the rarest thing ever, but every bad guy has. 
including the fact yeah. <laughs> Standard anti-superhero equipment you get on your first day of work. <laughs> That's one of the reasons why I like animated series uh, Superman the most, because the only person who had any was Lex Luthor and then Batman, because Batman stole Lex Luthor's chunk of Krypton. <laughs> That's it. Oh, on the subject of Lex Luthor, what's Baron Zemo like in uh, Winter Soldier? And... Uh, Baron Zemo's all right. Um, I really I enjoy thought... Baron Zemo. I think he's wicked. I've seen a clip of him dancing. <laughs> but I haven't, oh, yeah. I, haven't, um, I haven't I haven't actually seen like seen any of it yet. I won't I'll, do any spoilers or anything map. for it. But um I I pretty much I know I pre- I kind of know what happens at the end where certain someone becomes certain someone <laughs> and he gives a big speech and then it ends. What you mean uh, Falcon becomes the new Captain America like he did in the comics? Yeah, basically. So it's not really a spoiler. It's not really a spoiler. <laughs> Everyone kind of <laughs> no. knew that was coming. Might, I was just thinking it might be a spoiler for Rob. I don't know if he's watched it or read it. I don't I know. I have no idea what you're talking about. Yeah, you know <laughs> <that>. <laughs> oh, yeah. I watched a bit of Bad Batch the other day. Oh, yeah. Any good? It's all right. <laughs> <laughs> what about Venom 2? Oh, look. Oh, that does that. look good. I'd like to look. Yeah. I, I, I don't. At first, I was like, oh, it's a bit. It's a bit corny, a bit, bit comedic at the beginning, but then I thought, no, actually, that makes sense because yeah. it pretty much is like that anyway. <laughs> it's yeah. just, yeah. yeah. I'm looking forward to that. Yeah. <laughs> I was yeah. Because I really like superhero movies where it's like, okay, this is reasonable. Yeah. And I like, I like Woody Harrelson, so yeah. I can't complain. I'm just disappointed they didn't call it Maximum Carnage like the comic because that would have been brilliant. But... Yeah, but it doesn't have Spider Man in it. Yeah, you don't, need, you don't need Spider-Man for the first one. I, I would argue it would have been better if he was there, but you don't need it clearly, so it's yeah, fine. It's the same. Do you know what? Do you know, Venom has the same problem that the Joker does. Hmm. Doesn't have the superhero in it that it's supposed to be fighting against. But I think they're trying to grow Venom as a, a unique character on his own because I I don't know anything about Venom because I'm not a huge Marvel fan. You big inky like mess thing. I like, and, I, and that's it. <laughs> You know, but I really like the Venom film. So because of Tom Hardy, Tom. <laughs> I like the way that he played it. Just like do, I have you like Tom no Hardy to do this. <laughs> I don't want to do this. In the wind. And tough but, shit. It's like I don't want to be a hero, but unfortunately, the, I'm being dragged along by this. Fucking the best alien. line in the movie is when he's like, "Should we go out the window?" No, pussy, pussy. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, that, that motorbike chase was fucking brilliant. Oh, this is it. And, you know, I, I had my thoughts thinking that, you know, the first Venom film wasn't going to work without Spider-Man because it's kind of, he's fairly intrinsic to the whole where Mate, Venom came from thing. Curious. But they yeah. proved me wrong. The film was good without him. And it's like, you know what? Yeah, you could do Carnage without him. I'm sure you could. That I've seen also where... Lower hat. Trailer, but I like the film. <laughs> that makes sense. Like, I watched the trailer. I was like, mm, it looks a bit yeah. dodgy. But then the film completely just like, yeah. I try really hard to fun. avoid trailers because I find that trailers either give too much away or they make the film look shit. And it's, yeah. you just don't need anything. I don't feel you need any trailer at all. You know, <laughs> unless it's something that you honestly have no idea what it's going to be about, then yeah, sure, maybe whack on a trailer. But, you know, Venom 2, oh, it's going to be like Venom 1, but 2. So I don't need to watch a trailer. The first <laughs> film is the trailer. Yeah. Yeah. Except this time he's fighting a red symbiote rather than like a, another black symbiote. So it's like, okay, cool. Yeah. <laughs> it's like, it was almost like there was already another kind of carnage in the first film, just but it wasn't carnage. <laughs> it was just something else. <laughs> it's bigger than him. It's a uh, what? Oh, it's an it, it's an actual named symbiote because there's like several symbiotes in the Marvel universe. Yeah, but. I think it's like Shriek or something like Isn't that. that. Was it made up for the film? Was it? Was that an actual? No, no, no it's, no, it's no, an no, actual. It's, yeah. a, it's an actual one. I can't remember the name for the life of me right now, but yeah. It's I mean, there's actual. a lot more of them in the Venom comic, if that makes sense. Which yeah, yeah. There's like a good eight or nine it's of the them. You know? symbiote, and that's why he's the main character. He's well, like actually, Venom's supposed to be one of the more badass ones. That was the thing in the comics. They just said he was a shit one for the film. Oh, fair enough. <laughs> the film's like, yeah, he's a symbiote, all powerful, but actually he's the shittest one out of all of them. Yeah. 